pass keys. On a YubiKey? Want to know how to set them up? Well keep watching this video and I'll show you how. In this video I'm going to explain and show you how to use pass keys and store them securely on any YubiKey 5 series key. So in this example I'm going to be setting up passkey to access my Google account so it secures all of my Google services, YouTube, Google Docs and so on. So before we go into this what you need to know is that you can use any YubiKey 5 series key to store up to 25 pass keys. So any 5 series YubiKey will store up to 25 pass keys on it. Now I have read on the Yubico website that they are looking to increase the storage limits. So I presume that might be brought in in further series of YubiKeys unless they somehow increase the actual storage limits of the current YubiKey 5 series keys. But at the moment you can store up to 25 pass keys just to make you aware that these pass keys cannot be copied onto another YubiKey. So if you want to have a backup YubiKey you would need to also add this onto your account so that it has its own pass key. So for example you would set up two pass keys for accessing your Google account for example so that you can use either of your two YubiKeys to access your Google account. So let's get started. In order to use pass keys you need to have installed and downloaded the Yubico Authenticator application. Now as you can see on screen I've gone to the download Yubico Authenticator part of the Yubico website where we can download the Yubico Authenticator application. In this case I'm downloading the Windows 64-bit version as I'm using the Authenticator here on my Windows 11 64-bit PC. Now I've already downloaded the Windows 64-bit Yubico Authenticator so on my desktop I have this already saved so what I'm going to do is just open the Yubico Authenticator application by double clicking on it as you'll see I have done here and with the Yubico Authenticator setup screen Welcome to your Yubico Authenticator Setup Wizard. All we're going to do is click Next, accept the terms of the license agreement and then click Next again. And then for the destination folder, we'll leave it as default, which is Program Files, Yubico, Yubico Authenticator and click Next. Then on the ready to install Yubico Authenticator screen, we'll click install. Now this says completed the Yubico Authenticator setup wizard, so we'll click finish. And this completes installing Yubico Authenticator application. So we can now go ahead and delete the download, which is saved on my desktop here. So we'll go ahead and delete that, so we don't need it anymore. Then to open the Yubico Authenticator application, go to your Start menu and then click on All Apps, scroll down and you will see that at the bottom of your list of apps is Yubico Authenticator. I think for ease of use I'm going to right click on it, click on Pin to Start so that it's actually on the Start menu for easy access and also right click on it again click more and then pin to taskbar 
so that now you will see at the bottom of the screen I have here the Ubico Authenticator application on my desktop for easy access. So we'll just click on it to open and now it's asking me to insert my YubiKey. So I'll just insert the YubiKey into the USB slot and you will see that it's saying it's got no accounts on there. This is a new YubiKey I'm using, hence why it's saying no accounts. However, yours might say that it has accounts already on there. Now you can actually still use the YubiKey with other accounts already on there because if you're using other security access methods, for example, using it for TOTP one-time password generation, you can still use that in addition to having 25 passkeys stored on there as well. So you can store the one-time password facility in addition to having 25 passkeys on the YubiKey. So we'll leave that authenticator application open. What we'll do is go back to the Ubico website and as we don't need that anymore, we'll just close that window. So now, as you'll see on screen at the moment, I've logged in to my Google account. And what we're going to do is now enable the passkey to access this Google account. So to do this, what you need to do is click on security at the left hand side menu. Then you will see, if you scroll down a little, you'll see how you sign in to Google. And under the section, you can add more sign in options. You'll see there's a button for pass keys. Now, all we need to do is click on pass keys. Now it's asking me to just verify my Google password. So I'll just enter the password now and you will see we're now taken into the passkey screen. Now it's saying that a passkey can't be created on this device. However, it actually can. This is just a slight blip as it's not detecting the actual YubiKey and the authenticator. So what we'll do is click on create a passkey then it's saying a passkey can't be created on this device. However, as I just said, it can. So what you need to do is click on use another device. You should actually be presented with a security key setup window, which has been brought up by Windows Security. It's on screen at the moment, but it's saying set up your security key to sign in to google.com as tim64068989 at gmail.com. This request comes from the Brave.exe application by Brave Software. Now, just to confirm, Brave.exe is the web browser application that I'm using, hence why the security key setup window has popped up. So, as you can see, this request comes from the application brave.exe by brave software inc and we can click on the button which says ok then on the next screen we have windows security continue setup this will let google.com see the make and model of your security key google.com wants to create a credential on your security key which is fine so we'll click ok now it's asking me to create a new security key pin so what I'm going to do is type in a six digit security pin and then in the confirm security key pin box type the security key pin in again and then click on OK now it's asking me to touch the YubiKey and touch your security key. Now it's saying pass key saved. You can now use your security key to sign into google.com. So we'll click on OK. Now it's saying pass key has been created on your security key. 
you can now use this pass key on your security key to verify it's you. So we'll just click done. Now it's saying a pass key has been created for your Google account. So it's saying now pass keys you created and here is the pass key listed here under this section. If you're using a second YubiKey, all you need to do is create a pass key again by clicking on the create a pass key button here. This will add a second pass key to your new YubiKey. Obviously you want to already have inserted your new YubiKey before creating a second pass key. So now if we bring up the Yubico Authenticator application, click on the button in the top left corner, which has the three bars on it, and then go to Web Authn, which is where the pass keys will be listed. Then we have a message saying unlock. So Web Auth Management requires elevated privilege. So we just click on unlock. Now it's asking me to enter my pin before giving me elevated privileges access. So I'll just type in the pin that I created to access. And then you'll see we now have listed in there a pass key for accessing google.com. So if we click on the three dots next to it, you can see that we can delete the pass key, which removes it from the YubiKey, key, which we don't want to do, of course. What you would do if you want to actually remove it is delete it from your Google account before actually deleting it from the YubiKey. key. So delete it from the actual Google account or whichever account you're creating the pass key in first before you delete it on the YubiKey. key. So all we do is click close, which takes us back to the web orphan section of the YubiKey where the pass keys are stored. And you can see we can have authenticated application. So we can select different applications with the menu on the three bars, which takes us into the section of the YubiKey where various security information is stored. If you're using TOTP passwords, for example, these would be listed under the authenticator section. So now that we've created a passkey in our Google account, we will now log out of the Google account and test logging back in with our passkey. So we click on the top right icon, which brings down the login options, and then we'll click sign out. So now you'll see we're back at the Google login page where we can choose an account. So all we'll do is click on this account, which I've created. And then it's saying, use your pass keys to confirm it's really you. So we'll click continue. Then with the message box that appears for Windows security, making sure it's you, please sign into google.com. The request comes from the app brave.exe by brave software and it's asking me to enter our security key pin number so i'll just enter that click ok then touch the ubi key and as you can see it's logged us straight in to our google account very straightforward very easy to do and as you've probably read in various places and in the media that pass keys are currently the most secure method of accessing accounts and websites at the moment. So that's how easy it is to use pass keys and set them up on a YubiKey. So we'll just bring up the Authenticator app and go back into WebAuthn, click Unlock, enter our PIN and as you'll see it's take taken us into the list of pass keys. So as I said before, you can actually store up to 25 pass keys in a YubiKey 5 series key, in addition to any other account services you have, for example, authenticator TOTP codes. If you have any comments or suggestions, please do 
put the comments or suggestions down below as I do try to reply to as many comments as I can and if you haven't already subscribed don't forget you can hit that subscribe button so you get notified of any further upcoming videos anyway hope you like this video thanks for watching take care and bye for now Thank you.